Hello Libra, this is your March 2020 reading. It'll be the full Celtic cross and I'm looking for new energies and positive energies for Libra, sun, moon, and rising. Let's see what we got here coming in. I'm always looking for a positive reading, but if we don't get one, we work through it. I always give an honest reading also. Let's see what we got going. For the incoming energy coming in for Libra. Like I said, March 2020. I apologize for the delay getting the readings out, but my husband has not been feeling well. Libra, you're dealing with the Queen of Rods in reverse. The Queen of Rods in reverse can be somebody very short-tempered. Could be someone just not feeling well, someone not themselves. And maybe you're dealing with like a basically a fire sign, possibly an Aries, but not necessarily. Could be any fire sign. Subject in hand, Question at hand, page of pentacles, waiting for messages to come in, uh, stable messages. Some of you could be dealing with a younger earth sign, you know, someone practical. What's crossing it, manifesting something. You're trying to manifest a situation, messages, or, you know, stability in your life. And maybe you're, you're having a little bit of difficulty. So crown you the goal. The Knight of Pentacles, it's in reverse. You may be putting a halt to something or slowing down something to reevaluate. It also could be that you feel like everything is shut down for some of you. Foundation is the King of Swords. This could be your energy, you know. It's someone who's straightforward to the point and intelligent. The past position, you didn't get something new off the ground that you were trying to start that brings you stability. And you're wanting this, but it's like, and you got the energy to do it, but it's just like something getting in the way. <clears throat> and I'm going to clarify these. And as you know, it changes the story up once I start clarifying. And I will be giving a love reading at the end. I'm switching some stuff up for the future, and I'll announce it after the retrograde because it's kind of messy. Very near future, you will be dealing with somebody that's very practical in the upright. So maybe you are going to be... Um, looking at stability, regaining balance in your life with somebody or a situation. Could have to do with finances. Some of you are going to be dealing with the earth sign. So far, I see earth. I see, an, you know, it could be another air. I did see that fire. I haven't seen any water yet, but we'll see what's going on. Possible future outcome and advice from the universe. This is what you're actually probably doing is going within the hermit and thinking what you're going to do next. What is coming towards you is the Seven of Pentacles. Someone's also thinking about working on with you on something. Something that didn't take off. They're, they're maybe taking a second look at it. Your hopes and fears. What you're wanting is the Nine of Pentacles. Gain and finances. You know, independence. Getting what you're wanting. Starting off. And you're, you will be overcoming heartbreak. But the Three of Swords, for some of you, something's going on. i got to clarify. But you are trying to manifest more stability in your life. And some of you could be dealing with a fire, earth. Maybe they have the, both of the, in this chart. You felt like something came to a head and you had to put a halt to it. You didn't get the Ace of Pentacles, a new stable you beginning that you're wanting in the past position. So you're kind of gone within. You're in the upright. You're going in the right direction. Realize that also someone is looking over at you, trying to work out a situation that maybe failed with you. They're probably reconsidering how they can um, have a redo in some way. And I do see you coming out of heartbreak, Libra. But we got to go back to the beginning and find out what this message that you were wanting to manifest, this stability you were trying to manifest in your life, what kind of got in the way in the next couple, you know, it's more or less going to get in the way the next, you know, few days at least. So the Page of Pentacles, the Magician crossing it. I need two cards, please, for Libra. Yeah, you're hoping for a message. You're trying to manifest like something. Something that, it could have been a past situation that didn't come through. Because there were endings, but something is trying to resurrect. Or you're trying to resurrect something that ended. You're hopeful towards it. What well, crowns you or the goal is the Knight of Pentacles, and the Knight of Pentacles is in reverse for Libra. 
you may put a halt to something. You may think it's not even going to work out. You may think something is way too slow or never going to come in. This is what you're thinking and feeling. So it crowns you. You're waiting, waiting, waiting. So the Knight of Pentacles, I need two cards, please, for Libra. That's what crowns them or the goal. It looks like you're going to get some stability. Yeah, there's so many confusing offers, and you're leaving all your options open, and you're coming out of heartbreak. I've been seeing that for another sign. But you are coming out of heartbreak, but there's like there's also confusion attached to this, you know. Um, it's more or less go with the flow. And you may actually put an end to heartbreak yourself. You've got the King of Swords in the upright. I do think this is your energy taking on your crown, taking on power, taking on... Um, Things in your life that you want control over. So, the King of Swords. Two cards, please, for Libra as the foundation which supports this. So, know that you are very strong. You are very strong. And you may not accept just anything given to you or offered to you from the Knight of Wands. Possibly a fire sign. Someone that you believe is non-committal or not giving you what you're wanting. So, you may exactly tell them, this is not what I want. Maybe you're the one that not accepting this new beginning in some areas, you know. Maybe because you're wanting something else. You're expecting more. And there's nothing wrong with that. So the Ace of Pentacles in reverse in the past position. Why are you there? Two cards, please. What's going on? Yeah, there was arguments. There was arguments and a failed situation. So someone got an argument, they decide not to do a new beginning or have a new beginning because they considered it not a failure in some way, you know. In the very near future, you're going to be dealing with the Queen of Pentacles. You could be, uh, you know, becoming involved with this person somehow. It could be male or female. Remember, we're reading for the masses, so we're not going to label anything because it would be um, too difficult. But this is somebody who is very, very supportive and stable and financially secure often. You know, a little bit more mature. So I need uh, two cards for the Queen of Pentacles. In the very near future, Libra will be meeting. Two cards, please. Be meeting up with this person. This person will give you a strength, give you strength over something that you did not receive in the past. They're going to be there for you. Because you didn't get a new beginning in something, so they're maybe replacing it, or they're just going to be there for you in some way. They're going to give you strength. This person is going to give you strength because you didn't get that new beginning you're wanting. So it's like you're, you know, starting again, you know, in some way. And also, in some way, you're still dealing with this past issue. Or something didn't work out. Or maybe... I'm trying to think. I'm, I'm getting a couple of different feels here. Because I'm dealing with a lot of people. You are going to be doing something with this Queen of Pentacles. It has something to do with this Ace of Pentacles that you didn't get in the past. And you're going to recover from it. It just may take a little time. Or you're still... Think you're still dealing with this type of fire energy that, that is offering you something. So you've got two different situations going on in the, as a foundation in the near future. You're actually thinking about it and going within what your next step will be. So i got the Hermit in the upright. I need two cards for Libra. Two cards for Libra. Steady as it goes, new beginnings, taking the leap of faith, okay? So you're going within, knowing that you're going to go forward, not exactly in a fast way, but a stable way, you know, you're going to go forward. And for you to do this, it's almost like you're taking a leap of faith in some way, you know, with the full card. So... That's part of the do what you're going to be doing is the final as part of the final outcome that you are going to be doing something new, something different. Very carefully. I don't think you're going to like the fool kind of dives in, but I think with the Knight of Pentacles there, you're going to th you're thinking to yourself, I'm going to be careful about taking this new leap of faith. 
Instead of diving right in, you're going to be very careful with it. You are going to do it, though. The outside environment coming towards you is Seven of Pentacles. Someone's looking towards you over something that failed in the past. They're looking at you thinking, how can I fix this? They want to know how they could fix this with you, possibly. I need two cards to find out. Seven of Pentacles in the upright. Two cards, please. I know this reading sounds confusing. Yeah, they're going to offer you something, but they're unsure whether you accept it. Um, the reason why it seems so confusing is because you're doing two different things in this in this spread. Two th two different things are going on. Where you're dealing with somebody that you had heartbreak with, that someone's trying to resurrect, that you were waiting for messages, that you were wanting it to work. But it seems like you realize you don't like what is offered from this possible fire sign so you are heading towards the queen of pentacles and then something else happens you know something else goes on something changes in your life you decide to change something but like i said you're dealing with somebody who's going to possibly send you a message of love and kindness but they're unsure whether you you will accept it because you had a failed situation with this person before so let's go back to the hopes and fears you're kind of wanting your independence and gain in your life so I need two cards for the Nine of Pentacles gain card. New two cards, please. Ace of Swords stating your truth and weighing your options of where you're going to go next. So it looks like you're going to start something new. You got people that, that are supporting you, but you also got somebody that's want want to redo with you, fix something with you. You know, they want to fix this situation, but they're unsure whether you'll accept it. You and yourself don't you you feel like you must put a halt to confusing situations that involved heartbreak. That is what's crowning you or your goal. You have the ability to do it. You're a very strong person, like I said. And in the end, you got that three of swords. You know, in reverse again. So you're you're putting heartbreak off from you. You don't want it in your life. So the three of swords in reverse. Why is it in reverse? Why are you putting off heartbreak? Even though we kind of know why already. Let's see what the universe has to say about it, and then we'll do the love reading. Three of Swords in reverse. Two cards, please. Yeah, happy home. You're putting away heartbreak and going towards a happy home. And you're not going to accept any messages or situations that are unstable with the Page of Pentacles. Remember, we had it in the beginning. We have it at the end. In the beginning, it looks like you're waiting for it. In the end, you're not even going to wait for it. You're not waiting for heartbreak. You're going for a happy home and celebrations in your life and people that are willing to um, work with you, you know, co collaborate with you in life. So it looks like you're, you're still dealing with two different situations where somebody is still wanting, like I said, to fix the situation with you. You're unsure of it. You're trying to come out of heartbreak. You are going to be running into the Queen of Pentacles, which is going to kind of help you out in some way of a new beginning that you did not get in the past and someone argue with you or maybe you argued with this person but it looks like it's okay in the future with the queen of pentacles you regain strength with it and it could be for some of you that's what the queen maybe it is the queen of pentacles that's going to offer you something that could be it too even though they're unsure whether you will accept it because you're going with something new a whole new situation for you with the hermit. You're going within and saying, I'm starting something else. And I'm taking a, a leap of faith. You may not tell everybody about it. You will, and you, cause you're putting heartache away from you. You're, you're getting a happy home and you're not accepting messages or, or sending messages unless they're stable. You're, you're going to refuse them because you're wanting collaboration in your life. Okay. You're wanting things to work, things that are more towards your liking. Okay. So you're dealing with two different situations, like I said. Let me give you a love reading. For all I know, this could be having to do with your career also, because I see a lot of pentacles energy. But I do see you coming out of a pretty grim situation where you need it to. You feel like you have to do it just to get by in life and just to succeed and be happy again. It looks like that's what you're going to do, okay? Things are changing up for you. Realize that other people around you are still wanting to um, have a, you know, like I said, fix a situation. We'll see what happens, okay? I'm going to be love reading. I'll be right back. Hello, Libra. This is your love reading for March 2020. Libra, summon and rising. I need three cards for the love reading for Libra. Three cards, please. These things are sticking. Three cards for Libra, please. 
Sun, Moon, and Rising about love for March 2020. Whoa. Romantic feelings. Healing family issues. Let's put these up here. I want three other cards. We'll count them in two. Three cards. Three more cards for March 2020 for Libra, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Because romantic feelings, healing family issues. I did see where there was a little bit of a blip in your life with somebody. Somebody does want to do a fix it with you, you know. I need three cards from the Angel Answer, Sun, Moon, and Rising for Libra. New energies, positive energies, hopefully, for March 2020. Three cards, please, about love. Hmm. So you have romantic feelings, or someone still has romantic feelings towards you, but there's some healing that needs to be had. Three cards from the Psychic Tarot for Libra, Sun, Moon, and Rising. New energies, positive energies for Libra, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Hmm. I'm still concentrating on those. I'm getting some energy in. There was a deception that happened. I did see where someone was feeling a little bit of argumentative. Um, someone got in an argument. So, yes, there was there was a deception. Okay? You weren't imagining it. Okay? Someone had a little bit of temptation. They did some, some deceptions. And, you, and there wasn't... You weren't wrong. So now there must be healing to be had. You can forgive this person if you want. Okay? You can let this go. It's up to you. It's not a must do, but somebody is willing, wanting to, like I said, fix it with you. And there is material and spiritual prosperity to be had in your future anyway. No matter which way you go, you're going to have what you're wanting when it comes to finances and spirituality. But it's up to you whether you forgive and learn and let go with this situation. It doesn't say you have to take a person back. It's saying don't let it, you know bog you down where you can't go forward in life again. So healing does need to be had. I do see someone still is very much um, rom has a romantic interest to you. Religious factors could be at hand here in your spirituality. There is a lot of forgiveness that somebody wants and maybe you want to forgive them or maybe you don't. But it has to do with your spirituality, whether you do it. And the universe is there on your side. Whatever um, decision or way you decide to go, the universe is going to be there for you. But for you to heal internally and just to move on, even with other people, um, you know, the healing has to be had and forgiving, even in yourself. You know, you'd feel like you um, messed up in some way for some of you. Someone was tempted, okay? Someone deceived somebody they were tempted. And yes, you were right. This person still has romantic feelings towards you. And you can forgive them or you cannot forgive them. But you can let the situation go where it doesn't, um, like I said, bog you down. Take away your material and spiritual prosperity. Because it's there for you for the taking. There are religious factors. And, you, and maybe you are a very spiritual person. And maybe you want to forgive them. And, and, and maybe you just want to heal. And that's okay. So it's up to you. If you want to take this person back, you can. But the universe is promising you um, anything you want. It's a new world for you, whatever you want to take. Whether you want to take a person back and start over or go on with something else, the universe is on your side. But you do need to heal. Even though um, someone may want to work it out with you, um, things need to be put on the table and addressed. And everything, if you want to work it out with this person, I guess the past would have to be let go. It really will if you want to work it with this person. Otherwise, everybody's just bringing it up over and over again. And arguments do happen. Go to your, um, go, you know, go to prayer. Go to prayer. You can do that and, and um, ask the universe or whoever you worship to help you through this so you can regain uh, forgiveness if possible. And know that the universe is on your side. Um, your your God is on your side. And they are going to bring you through this, whatever you're going through, when it comes to um, something that happened in your life with another person. Okay? Forgiveness is at hand over a deceptive situation if you want. But it's up to you. You have free will. So this is your reading, and I'm going to upload this soon. 
And I'll talk to you later, Libra. Bye.